Let's do a setup here with the chat and participants. Here we go. And I gotta meet with guys, sorry. these exercises to be exactly the same as eating vegetables every day or doing a certain um, a certain physical workout every day Friday Zoom rehearsal to Paul gets to meet with his friends. Nay, 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 nay,
me, 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 I don't know about you, but I can feel my voice sort of just gradually stretching and warming up. It's like, it's like reaching for my toes and you know getting a few millimeters closer each time um my voice teachers used to make me do this they used to make me hold a, a pencil with my tongue curled down I still have trouble with it it's the same it's the same principle just trying to get my tongue to to lie flat and relax and be, you know just floppy and relaxed and out of the way try it sometime if you're if you're if you're brave see if you can hold the hold the pencil outside your mouth while doing this exercise not just not just in your teeth it has to be it has to be held just by your tongue so, so I see some of you are just kind of holding it in your lips. Your tongue actually has to be outside so that only the tongue is holding it does that make sense it's a little bit tricky looks like uh, beth is doing it correctly a few of you are doing it correctly yeah say that you feel some improvement on this exercise over time like it's getting even even uh, incrementally better somehow <laughs> Mum, 
exercise this is kind of a new one it's the same um, somebody's asking how should a mixed voice feel that is a very good question a mixed voice should feel uh, different than fully chest different than fully head it should have a thinner lighter feeling than chest and a slightly thicker heavier feeling than pure head voice so I realize that I'm sort of talking in generalities, but I can only describe to you what my mix feels like. It feels free and easy. It feels like I can go up or down with ease. It, but it feels to me like a, like a mixture of the muscles. So it's not as heavy and thick as my chest voice that I'm talking in right now. And it's not as light as this. It's something in between. And each of you would probably describe it differently. Um, but let's do let's do this next exercise that I was going to show you, which is the same syllable NG with the mouth mostly closed. And it's like this. Short, 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 long, short, short, long, short, short. So the point of this extra anything with an NG is it is intended to make make the nasopharynx resonate which is why we do it with the mouth mostly closed this has the additional component of having a restart in it when we go mm, 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 we're causing the chords to come apart and go back together again so we're doing it over we're leaping and doing it over the, the span of an octave with restarts and nasopharynx um, and uh, expanding our range. Mm-hmm. 
I should be doing it in octaves on the piano, sorry. Now let's do a little head voice exercise. Marie, I wasn't trying to, uh, to be vague in my answer to you. It's a little bit of a tricky thing to, to describe. I can, I can just tell you what it feels like in my own voice. Uh, let's do an exercise in head voice where we're going to we're going to stay try to stay in head voice and descend. So for me, it's going to sound like this. Uh, so the women should try to be up here. Proceed it with a vocal fry. Uh, somebody keeps getting unmuted. Sorry. Jane is saying there's some distortion. Is it my keyboard that's too loud or my voice? Seems okay. Uh, now we're going down by half steps. Uh, try to stay in your head voice. concept here is that any voice, any note that you can sing in head voice has the potential to be mixed. So the lower you can sing your head voice, the lower you can start to mix. Does that make sense just as a concept? So if the two registers are separate, there'll be no mixing opportunity. If they, if they don't overlap, you can't mix. If they overlap one note, then you could potentially mix on one note. If they overlap an octave, which would be ideal, then you have, you know, eight notes or 12 notes, however you want to think of it, in the span of an octave where you could potentially mix. So that's why we want to try to sing our head voice ever lower so that in that middle part of our voice as we're approaching the break, we're starting to mix way before the break. So that when the break happens, we're already in mix. We don't wait until the last minute to change lanes on the highway when the merge. And Paul, is the benefit of having a mix that you get more resonance or what? The benefit is that you don't have to carry your chest voice up until you feel like you're strangling or drowning. So, so a, a lot of folks, when they're learning to sing, they go, ah, ah, so I carried my chest voice up just as high as it would go. And then at the last minute, it sort of breaks accidentally into head voice. In other words, I'm keeping the registers completely separate. And then there's this big break in the middle with mix the registers are overlapping and the break disappears essentially. So I just sang across the break using mix and it didn't have that dramatic uh, break in the middle where the register sounds so different. I'm starting to I'm starting to mix way before the break. So it's a combination. I've said this before. So at the at the bottom of the mix, it might be 80% chest, 20% head. And then in the middle, it might be 50-50. And then at the top of the mix, it might be 80% head voice, 20% chest voice. So when we hear a, 
when we hear an opera singer, let's say let's say Luciana Pavarotti or, or Rene Fleming, when they sing their highest notes, they are singing a mix. It's not pure head voice. It's not pure chest voice. It's a mix. So it has a, the power and the brilliance of chest, but it's mixed with head voice. So they can do it with, a, with quite a bit of ease. But there's no way they could ever sing their chest voice up that high. But it's not pure, pure head voice. So the way to, the way to get the mix starting to happen is to, is to sing the head voice down lower than we ever thought we could. So again, I can sing this note in pure head, a pure chest voice. But right now I'm trying to sing it in pure head voice to get the two to overlap. I realize this is a little, this is a difficult concept. I don't want to shy away from it just because it's difficult and hard to explain. I think it's a really um, uh, a potential. It, it 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 has the potential to help all of us sing better. And I'm on the journey myself. I'm trying to I'm trying to develop my own mix, and I want it for you all because it just means being able to sing higher, easier. A lot of people just want to push their chest voice up as high as it'll go because the head voice is uncomfortable, it's underdeveloped, et cetera, et cetera. And so we sort of avoid it, but I don't want us to avoid it. I think it's uh, unlocking a lot of potential for us. Yeah, I see hands going up. Go ahead, Joy. Yeah, this is Mark. I'm new at chest head voice. Like the stuff we're singing in May, is it mostly chest? Or do you want head voice on some of these? What part, Explain. what part are you singing? I'm, I'm, I'm a bass. So as a bass, you will likely sing most of your parts in pure chest voice. But what I will suggest to you is that anytime the part starts to feel uncomfortably high, that's when you could be singing in mix with much, oh. much greater ease. So, so here's the other thing. For each person, the breaking point is slightly different. There's some sort of commonalities for tenors, commonalities for bass, alto, etc. But each person's break is slightly different, and it might be slightly different from day to day, because the voice is a very fluid thing. But for, for a bass, it might be that when you start singing up around C, 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 and B, and C, and C sharp, you might start to feel like, oh man, I'm way up high and I feel uncomfortable. That's where you could start singing in head voice, just, just while you're practicing. It might sound a little weird to sing these notes in head voice. <laughs> but after a while, those muscles can be mixed in with the chest muscles to make the, that part of your range a mix. And you'll be able to sing. Uh, uh, with a mixed voice with much greater ease than trying to push push your your heavy bass voice up into that register and for me that breaking point is about a fourth higher just because i'm a tenor so so tenors the breaking point tends to be around e f f sharp bass baritones it tends to be around b flat b c does that make sense so when we're when we're practicing these parts and you get to a high bass line just try singing it in pure head voice while we're practicing. And over time, those muscles get built up and you'll find that you're able to navigate that part of your range more easily. Uh, Joy, you were going to ask a question. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that the, uh, the uh, chest voice gives you power, but you also mentioned some of the attributes of using your head, uh, your head voice. I missed that. Could you just repeat that sentence? So for most of us, there, there, are, there are some people that are very comfortable in their head voice, just sort of the natural way their voice lands, they, they feel comfortable there. For a lot of us, it requires practice and, and the head voice is underdeveloped. So for a lot of us, singing in our chest voice feels very natural. This is what my chest voice sounds like. Here's what my head voice sounds like. That doesn't feel natural to me. So 
so a lot of people just stay in chest voice because it feels natural and comfortable and they don't want to go where it feels uncomfortable but the chest voice has a limit it can only go so high and when we try to push past it uh it it breaks or we fatigue and especially as we age we, we stop being able to sing those high shouty notes ah, ah! that's my that's my chest voice way up high. I can't do that for more than about five minutes because it's not meant it's not meant to be sung up there in full chest. It's meant to be sung in mix. Now, when I mix, I don't feel fatigue at all. So but it, it requires development like the head voice requires development to get to get comfortable and, and, and to to have the power that we want it to have. So I, I realize these concepts are, are difficult to understand. They, they have to be experienced. Did that answer your question at all? Pretty much, but also if that case, uh, do you have some very special exercises which work specifically on, on the mix? Yeah, so the, the, the best one, the one that we're doing right now is, is the one where we sing the head voice down low. I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you have to find where your head voice is. Do you happen to know a note where your head voice kind of starts? No, I'm working on that. Okay, can you sing this note in your head voice? Oh, no, it's a little high. It's too high for me. Okay, how about this note? Yeah, that's fine. So then tr try singing down a scale and staying in head voice. Don't let it flip into chest. Okay, I like that. Thank you. And then you move it down by half steps. And over time, you get the two registers to overlap. Sounds great. It just yeah. takes a minute. you got to be patient with, your, with yourself and with your voice. Um, it's, so, such a great, it's a great new concept, I think, for all of us. I wish, I wish somebody had talked to me about it when I was a young singer, like in high school or in my 20s, because I was just pushing my chest voice up as high as it would go. And when I was in my 20s, my voice would my voice would do that for me and it would recover the next day. And I, I didn't realize that I was doing it wrong. I would just shout everything as as in full in full uh, chest voice. Somebody's saying, can you say a bit about how to get into head voice? So I thought so here here's a, here's three ways I can think of to experiment with getting into um, with head voice. One is to go like this like a siren Ooh. Ooh. so at the top of that i'm in pure 100 percent head voice so that's a different note for each person but if you pretend to be a siren Ooh. Ooh. the top of that is head voice another way is i uh, recently it popped into my head that, that uh, the way Walt Disney used to voice the voice of Mickey Mouse. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. That's, that was him using his head voice. Uh, another sort of silly one was the way that um, Julia Child talked. What are you in the kitchen? Her voice, she was always sort of in head voice and then cracking into chest voice. Do you remember? Do you remember Julia Child? It always had that head voice, chest voice kind of cracky sound to it. Her natural speaking voice was in her was in her head voice. So those are kind of three ways we can fake fake getting into head voice. Okay, I don't want to. I mean, I could we could talk all day on this. I don't want to. I don't want to um, get bogged down or, or bore you. The thought occurred to me to spend the bulk of our time on what I think to be the hardest pieces because the easy the easier pieces will be easier to learn in the weekly rehearsals I realize some of you aren't attending weekly rehearsals but for example one of the pieces that I think is a little bit tricky at least to learn is Michael Rowe the Boat Ashore so let's start with that one It's got all these melismas and sometimes there's a pattern and sometimes there's not a melisma is a is a bunch of notes on one syllable. So if I say Alleluia, the 
the first syllable had you know 20 notes on on one syllable that's called a melisma the handles messiah is full of melismas so michael Rowe the Bo the shore has has lots of melismas sometimes the pattern is logical and sometimes it's not let's start with the altos please page one it's, well it's the first page but it's page two measure five altos let's go slow two three four michael Rowe. Just that much again. Two, three, four. Michael, row, row the boat ashore. Michael, row, row, row the, the boat ashore. It's tricky, right? Because the syllable, where the syllables line up, the notes really aren't that hard, but it's where they line up with the syllables. Try this again, altos, two, three, four. Michael, row, row, sorry. Michael, row, row, the boat ashore. Michael, row, 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 the boat ashore. Michael, row, oh, the boat, row, the... Wow. Let's try something for a minute. Let's just go la la la. Let's learn the notes on la la la, and then we'll add the text back in. We'll do the tenors next. Two, three, altos. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. when you think there's a pattern it changes one more time altos so tenors yours is a little bit similar it's sort of parallel i'll give you your notes just in case you want to sing along so here's bass here's tenor here's alto and then sopranos are going to come in pickups to nine michael Rowe. still focusing on the altos bass tenor alto two La 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 so here's bass again, tenor, alto. Focusing on the tenors for a minute. Two, three, measure five. La 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 Hey, Mark, did you notice that I flipped into my head voice on a couple of high notes? Just to make it easier on myself. Not yet, but I'll work on it. <laughs> so I, just then when I was singing the tenor part, yeah, see, I just flipped into head voice just just to, so I don't have to work so hard. So oh, okay. Here's, here's tenors again. One, two, three, four. La 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 la
fingers alto, focusing on tenor and alto, just la la la. Two, three, four. Sorry. They sound nice together and it's sort of a little melody of its own. Can I hear the basses please at five? Let's do the words. Two, three, basses. Michael, row the boat ashore. Michael, row, row, row. Michael, row the boat ashore. to sing such complicated rhythms couldn't possibly do both i'm trying to row but my on the one end and the two end and the basses again we'll go a little faster one two one two basses michael row the boat ashore michael row 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 michael row the boat ashore So I can't play all three, but we'll try the bottom three parts and I'll do my best. Here's bass, here's tenor, here's alto. If you want to try the words, great. If not, do la la la. We're just trying to get the notes and rhythms right now. One, two, measure. Five, two, three, four. you do might take a minute right sopranos can i hear you please pickups to nine thanks for being patient pickups to nine top of three sopranos a oh, one two michael row the boat ashore hallelujah michael row the boat ashore So 16 goes, ya ha, ya ha, le, lu, u, u, ya. Ya ha, le, lu, u, u, ya. So leading into 16 sopranos. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So your part is easy, 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 and then suddenly difficult. Sopranos, once again, back to top of three. In a minute, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the rehearsal tracks in the original session where I can mute things and unmute things because that seems to be helpful. Give me just a second here. Okay, Sopranos, one more time. Pickups to nine and a one, two. Michael, row the boat ashore. Alleluia. Michael, row the boat ashore. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
I think part of what's tricky about this song is where the syllables line up. They don't necessarily uh, line up where you expect. Okay, I'm going to open the session. Just a second here. Thanks for being patient. For example, let me have just the altos. Where's my piano? Ready, uh, altos, I've got it parked two measures out. Unfortunately, I can't change the speed on this particular thing, but it, it's a way to isolate the parts. Here comes alto, and then we'll add, we'll add parts individually. One, two, ready, go. Just that much. It's crazy fast, isn't it? Let's add the basses. Actually, let's do the bass separately, and then we'll we'll put those two together. Here comes bass. together. So here's the bass note. Oh darn it, I need a piano sound. Here we go. Here's the bass note, here's the alto note. Bass and alto together. We never looked at page four. Michael Roa Shore, Alleluia. Tenors, can I hear you just by yourselves for a minute? Be patient with yourselves. I think this piece is a little bit difficult to learn. Here comes tenors. Michael, row, row, the boat ashore. Michael, row, 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 the boat ashore. Michael, row, the boat, row, the boat. Michael, row, the boat ashore. How you doing? What's funny is you guys are going to learn this. Difficult as it seems today, in a few weeks you'll be going, oh, I think I know this now. Uh, let's try ten, uh, bass, alto, and tenor together and just see how we're doing. So here's the bass note. Here's the tenor note. Uh, Paul, Beth Noodleman seems to have a question. Oh, sorry, Beth. Thank you. Uh, when it's our turn, can you please do measure 16 and 17 very slowly? 
You bet. I wish I could slow. I can't slow down in this format. We can slow it down on YouTube, but bass, tenor, alto, and two bars. This is rolling into five. So before I go on, bottom three parts, any measures you want to hit, tenor, alto, or bass, any specific measure you want to, you want to drill. Okay, sopranos, let's look at your part isolated. Thank you for your patience. I know there's a little bit of waiting around while I work on a certain part. So sopranos, I'm parked two bars before your entrance, or a bar and a half, like this. One, two. So the rhythm at 16 is one, two, three, four, ya, hallelujah. Once again, sopranos at 16, two, three, four, ya, hallelujah. That's the rhythm of the syllables. Ya, hallelujah, ya, hallelujah. The tricky thing for me is to, is to remember that there's two notes for the first syllable, ha. Ya hallelujah, do it with me. Ya hallelujah, that's pure head voice, by the way. Uh, I would think that for most sopranos, that would be either pure head voice or mix. Here we go, two, three, four. Ya hallelujah. So if we go back one word, hallelujah, hallelujah. I see somebody shaking their head, no, like, not going to do it. Soprano, so let's do your whole thing, pickups to nine. And a one, two, Michael Rowe, the motor shore. Hallelujah, Michael Rowe, the boat ashore. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, I'm feeling like I should move on to another song. Next measure. That was starting at nine and finishing at 17. Does that make sense? Let's move on so I don't, uh, so I don't get uh, tomatoes thrown at me. Let's do a uh, Ukrainian river song, which I, at the beginning of this, I thought was gonna be the hardest, but I think Michael Rowe, the boat ashore might be the hardest. I actually don't think Ukrainian river song is is as hard as I thought. So starting at measure seven, let's just do la la la. Let's leave the let's leave the Ukrainian language out for the moment and just work on the notes and the rhythms. Here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Measure seven. One, two, three, four, five. So we're just doing it like this. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, la. 
let me hear just the basses. Two, three, four, five. La 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 One more time basses. Two, three, four, five. La 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 I just thought of something. Imagine that mix voice is a transmission where you never have to change gears. It's like a one gear transmission. So you can be you can be going 10 miles an hour or 90 miles an hour all in the same gear. There's some there's some flaws in that analogy, but OK, t uh, tenors, let's hear you. Two, three, four, five. La, 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 la. Once again, tenors, two, three, four, five. La, 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 la. Tenors and basses together, bass and tenor. Two, three, four, five. first rehearsal of this at Arlington Heights, I tried to kind of get into the technicalities of 5-4 time. I crashed and burned. So now I'm just kind of doing it by feel and by ear. I mean, I'm counting, but I don't want to get too much in your head about it. It's like, let's all learn to do calculus together. Or let's just listen and feel it. Okay, so uh, altos, let's hear you. Nice high alto part right in the crack. So sing it in head voice or sing it in mix. Two, three, four, five. La 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 la. I'm singing it down an octave, obviously. Let's try the bottom three parts together: bass, tenor, alto. Two, three, four, five. Sopranos, and guess what, sopranos, you're the same as the tenors. Two, three, four, five. La, 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 la. parts together bass tenor alto soprano two three four five kind of easy right i mean we haven't added the ukrainian yet but the notes and rhythms are kind of easy now we turn the page measure 11 is the exact same thing again so here we go, measure 11. Two, three, four, five. Now we're at 15, new information at 15. Let's try the basses and tenors together because you guys are singing in octaves. Here's bass, here's tenor. We're just singing on la 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 for now. We'll we'll deal with the uh, we'll deal with the Ukrainian after we kind of get the notes and rhythms uh, settled. Here's fifteen on la 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 two ready go. La 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 la
and the, the, the chords going with it make sense. Basses and tenors again. One, two, ready, go. I'm having sort of random unmutings happening today. Sorry about that. Two, ready, go. La, 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 la. I'm singing the bass, by the way. One, two, ready, go. One time, just the tenors. Two, ready, go. Altos, let's hear you, please. At 15, altos, two, ready, go. I love the ending of that. Let's try the bottom three parts together. Bass, tenor, alto. Thanks for being patient, Sopranos. One, two, measure 15, and... Like you're getting it. Sopranos, let's hear you please at 23. This is bottom of page five, measure 23. Sopranos come in here. One, two, sopranos go. Just that much again. We're almost to my favorite part. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Which I'm now randomly, I, I told my family about this song. And then just all of a sudden, randomly, for no reason, in the middle of the day, I'll just start doing the hey thing. And my daughters just look at me and roll their eyes. They'll be eating cereal or watching TV, and I'll just go, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I'm weird like that. Here comes 23, Sopranos. One, two, 23, go. Let's do all the parts at 15. Still on la la la. Here's bass, tenor, alto, and Sopranos, when you come in, you have this note. One, two, fifteen, go. Okay, so let's go from the beginning that far, or from from our first entrance at measure seven, page one. Remember this part? Four, five. So here's how my brain thinks of it. See if this helps you. So I go four, five, four, five, four, five, three, four. 
because it's me it's all measures of five until we get to measure ten, which is a measure of four. So ching 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 four five ching 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 four five ching 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 four five uh three four ching 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 four five yes question. Jones. Yes, can you just um play the measure seven, eight, and nine for sopranos, please? Bet. Play it separately. Thank Two, you. Three, four, five. Four, five. Four, five. Four, five. That sort of makes sense. Seem high enough to me, but okay. <laughs> yeah, so you and the tenors are in octaves. They're down here, and you're up here. La, okay. la, 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 la. You're up an octave from where I'm singing. La. Let's try everybody together on just on la la la. Uh, this song would go naturally with, with the Ukrainian folk dance. Yeah, I think it is a dance song. I think they do dance. They might dance in a circle or in a line or something. You have to look it up on YouTube. Okay, here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Measure seven, la la la. Two, three, four, five. Four, five. Feelings. It's actually it's actually more accessible and and repetitive and, and learnable, I think, than I first thought. And easier than Michael Row the Boat Ashore, which is in English for crying out loud, and in four four time. But there's something about the nature of that writing that I think is more difficult to learn. So here's measure 31, the hey, hey, hey. She may have already learned this. It's two measures of haze and two measures of musical information that we've already learned. The hey, hey is this. Hey, 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 hey. Just do the two measures. You, you can clap it or just say it. One, two, ready, go. Hey, 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 hey. They're sort of like a, uh, a mirror image of each other. One more time. One, two, ready, go. Hey, 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 hey. And then it repeats the last two measures that we just sang at 29 and 30. Dita, uh, dita, dita, da, da, or the basses and tenors have this. And the altos have. Which is the last two measures that you sang before, and sopranos have this. So what I want to do is start at 29. You see where box 31 is. Go back two measures. This is top of six. We're going to sing the last two measures, then two measures of hey, then those those last two measures get repeated down there at the bottom of six, then two measures of hey, then the last the last two measures again. Okay, starting at 29, two before 31. Here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. One and two and ready, sing. Hey, 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 hey. Kind of cool, right? Let's go back a section. Hey, Paul? Yes. Sorry. 
Um, I just realized I was not stair stepping on measure 29. Can you play 28 to 31 of the soprano part, please? You bet. So here's 28. At tempo, it'll be more like this. One, two, ready, and. Let's go to 15, please. Everybody at 15. Here's bass, tenor, alto. Sopranos, when you come in at 23, here's your note. One, two, 15, go. From seven and then we'll put this one away so this everything that we everything that we've sung so far gets repeated of course we, we've yet to add the the ukrainian which we will do very soon i just wanted to get the notes and rhythm solid without the further complication of the of the diction um here we go measure seven One, I'll count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five. Four, five. Four, five. How you doing? Feel like your head's gonna explode? Great, but no smoking. Let's let's work on something a little bit easier, like top of the world, just for a minute. This is like our a little sherbet palate cleanser, musically speaking. Now, if you have this green copy, Put it away in a safe or some kind of a locked box where you'll never be able to reach it again because we need to be using we need to be using the the copy that looks like this does everybody have that now there was a million emails flying around this week about which version do we use We're using the white one that says edited by Jay Miller, the mysterious Jay Miller. It's his, it's a pen name for Jonathan Miller. He re-engraved it because we're changing some of the rhythms. Betsy is saying, how again do we get this copy? I don't know. Helen, do you know? If you haven't been given one in your live concert, you could probably shoot an email to the Sounds Good office. I'll put can... Laura Simchak's email into the chat. You can contact yeah. Laura and she'll see that you get it. She, yeah. Thanks, Helen. Sure. She emailed it to me and it says she's going to be mailing me a copy. As Who's well. Laura? I'm sorry. Uh, Who's Laura? Laura works in the in the office. She the does office. Thank you. Administrative things. She has a, a last name with no vowels in it. 
Sometimes Y is a vowel, Paul. Didn't you I, learn that in grammar? Come on. I did. <laughs> I did. I didn't. I never uh, met, encountered Polish people really until I until I moved to Chicago. For whatever reason, the, all the places I lived, there wasn't uh, like a predominant Polish culture until I moved here, except for Marek Chavinka, who used to bully me in middle school. <laughs> First name is Merrick, M-A-R-E-K, second, last name Chavinka, C-Z-E-R-W-I-N-K-E. And he kind of uh, decided that I was going to be his punching bag in middle school. And we used to play soccer and rugby at, at lunchtime and recess. And he always was wanting to fight with me. And at the time, I was not a fighter. I was scared of him, and I was afraid to to get into fisticuffs with him. But it got so bad that I eventually complained to my parents through tears. And my mom's response was, you know, go tell the teacher, go tell the principal. And my dad's response was, go get a stick and beat him over the head with it. That was the, the difference in my, my parents' philosophy on dealing with bullies. Uh, fast forward some 30 years, Merrick uh, now lives in London and uh, contacted me through Facebook. One night he would, had been up late drinking and was reminiscing and feeling bad about days gone past and contacted me and said, hey, mate, I think uh, I think I was I think I need to. Uh, I offer you an apology for I don't really remember all the details, but something happened when we were in middle school and I feel like I owe you an apology. And so we talked about it. Come to find out Merrick's father was abuse was physically beating him almost on a daily basis. That's the that's the house that Merrick was growing up in. So it only makes sense that Merrick was violent when he was at school. That story has nothing to do with anything except <coughs> Polish last names with Y's, with Y's instead of I's. So did you take your mother's advice or your father's advice? I, I don't rem, uh, well, I didn't take my father's advice because I was too, I was too afraid to do something so violent. And I think one of my parents contacted the school because at some point it stopped and he just would verbally abuse me instead. So I think a teacher went and spoke to him and said, you can't do that anymore. And so he just would say mean things to me. Uh, Paul? Yeah. You're talking about Y's and I's. I do genealogy and generally uh, a Polish name with a Y is Jewish, a Polish name with an I is Gentile. That's the general thing. So it all depends on the last letter. Yeah, but the last letter is Y, like one of our doctors had. No, it was like P R Z Y, and I took me forever. Well, it, it's okay. Generally, it's general to yeah, 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 no, no, no. everybody. Some people Sorry, Robert. Iris Robert. I'm teasing. Here we go. Top of the world. Let's just go. It's, it's mm. marked for just sopranos and altos at the beginning, but if there are female tenors that can sing in this register, feel free to sing along. This is at measure 12 of Top of the World. One, two, three, and four, and such a feeling's coming over me. There is wonder in most anything I see. Not a cloud in the sky, got the sun in my eyes, and I won't be surprised if it's a dream. Just that much again. One, two, measure twelve, here we go. Such a feeling's coming over me. There is wonder in most everything I see. Not a cloud in the sky, got the sun in my eyes, and I won't be surprised if it's a dream. Keep going. 
Everything I want the world to be, this is soprano and alto, is now coming true, especially for me. And the reason is clear, it's because you are here. You're the nearest thing to heaven that I've seen. Let's go back. At 28, let's do basses and tenors. So this is a place where the basses might want to sing in head voice or mix, just because it's, it's a little bit higher, depending on what your range is, basses. Here's 28, basses and tenors. Two, ready, go. Everything I want the world to be Is now coming true, especially for me and the reason is clear it's because you are here you're the nearest thing to heaven that i've seen once again same part bass and tenor at 28 one two ready go everything i want the world to be is now coming true especially for me and the reason is clear it's because you are here you're the nearest thing to heaven that i've seen let's try both parts at 28 bass and tenor and alto soprano one two three four How you doing? Getting it? Let's go back to a 12. One, two, one, two, three, four. the chorus let's do the chorus slowly we'll just play the parts and you can read along and then we'll go back this is pickups to 44 measure before 44 one and two and mm. that much again then we'll go back and sort the parts out this is pickups to 44 I'm on the hay we'll make the we'll make the hay our, our substitute for a rest a hay and a clap here we go 43 one and two and one
altos, let's hear you there, please. One, two, three, four, one. I'm on the top of the world, looking down on creation, and the only explanation I can find is the love that I found ever since you put me at the top of the world tenors and basses can i hear you two i'm on the top of the world looking down on creation and the only explanation i can find is the love top of the world. Dave Perlman, how do you sing that line? Do you flip into head voice or do you mix? Or are you able to just sing the whole thing in kind of your chest voice? How do you do it as a bass? Uh, no, I got, definitely mix it up and the high E flats may or may not be in chest, in the head voice. Okay. I think it's a high bass line. I think it's a super high bass line. Uh, so that's just my own thought about it. Let's do all the parts together. I didn't play the sopranos because I'm thinking the sopranos are probably getting it. Here we go. Pick up to the chorus. Here we go. One and two and Go back to 12. So we'll do verse, the verse at 12, the verse at 20, uh, 28, and then the chorus, and then we'll call it a day. We'll end on a bright, cheery note, and the rest of the day you'll be singing this song, perhaps. Or maybe you'll be singing Ukrainian river dance, not sure. River song. Here we go, measure 12. Da, ba, ba, ba. We'll go a little bit slow. One, two, Two and darn it, I'll sing this time. One, two, ready, go. Such a feeling's coming over me. There is wonder in most everything I see. Not a cloud in the sky, got the sun in my eyes, and I won't be surprised if. Hey, 1125. So those of you that are unfamiliar, after this rehearsal, I post it on, this rehearsal has been recorded, and I post it on the YouTube channel, same place as the rehearsal tracks. If you ever want to go back and watch the rehearsal again, you can do it because it'll be on YouTube. It'll, I'll, I'll upload it now. It'll probably be up there in about 20 minutes. Let me hit the stop button here.